It's our last day in Bashkortostan, and we're on our way to Sterlitamak, a town of 250,000 people, about two hours south of Ufa. Peter Zhuk is taking us to visit two rehab centers. These havens of hope for the destitute are one of the primary evangelistic ministries of the church in Bashkortostan. This is Alexei Slepenkov, director of the rehab center in Sterlitamak. He got involved with the rehab ministry shortly after becoming a Christian. It happened really as an accident. I never wanted to do this. When I came to church, I was the only person with a past like I had. Since I was 19 years old, I drank alcohol, took drugs, and went to prison. Then I came to church, became a believer, and repented. God gave me mercy, and He forgave me, and in 1997 I was baptized. After that, people came up to me and asked me if I'd like to do this ministry. Alexei calls the residents together for a time of testimony and sharing. Uh, I was a musician, a jazz musician, and God was not something that was on my mind. But God sometimes has to bring a difficult situation into our life before we will begin to look at Him. They come many times as non-believers, but they have a a scheduled a curriculum and uh, it's a live-in situation and a loving situation. The Holy Spirit is at work and through Bob's testimony, one of the residents repents and gives his life to Christ. They see many of their future pastors and missionaries and church planners coming out of these rehab centers. People that have experienced the great despair of that region, who have immersed themselves in a culture of drugs and alcohol, who have come out of that, found their salvation, their hope, their reason for living in Jesus Christ, and those people are excited to learn, to grow, to serve. So those rehab centers become not just a great evangelistic tool, uh, but a, a great, almost a farm league, so to speak, for raising up uh, new servants uh, to minister within the church. As the pastor of the rehab center, Alexei disciples the residents through regular Bible study. In the evenings, we take a passage. For example, right now we're studying Luke. I try to examine it and research it. We take a historical picture, geographical picture, and I divide the passage into several parts and explain why I do it this way. And in the morning, they prepare an interpretation. Our next stop is Oktoberskaya, where the rehab center is temporarily located in an apartment. We are greeted by the Christian brothers and welcomed in for a visit. Today the residents have prepared a special lunch for us. This is borscht without beet. And she will have cabbage and meat and some potato and carrots. And this is bucket. It's a kind of a cereal. This is tea. And bread, they make bread by themselves. That is why it very, has special, very special taste. The center can only accommodate seven residents in this small apartment and the program has a waiting list. The staff tries to make the residents as comfortable as possible. Due to their condition, they have asked us not to take their picture. Peter decides it's time to show us the building the church hopes to purchase in order to expand the ministry. We meet up with the owner and tour the building. The square footage is ample enough and would allow for an expansion of the rehab ministry but the building will require a sizable investment to make it a livable situation. And the asking price is more than the church wants to spend. So for now, much prayer is needed. 